Hey folks, uh, I have an excuse to make another NixOS video, or rather a Nix video. This is not a NixOS video, this is just a Nix video. Um, today, it's been a while. Uh, this is about using Nix as a homebrew replacement on macOS. So I have a Hackintosh, which is just like some, you know, IBM Think Center thing that I do some music on. It runs macOS Catalina, which is pretty old now. I'm, I'm too chicken to upgrade the thing because I'm not, first of all, I'm not much of a Mac user, and second of all, I, Hackintoshing is hard. So um, in the past, I've used Homebrew on it to get sort of Unixy commands, you know, like rip grep and FFmpeg and things like that. But these days, um, Homebrew doesn't really support Catalina that well and throws some scary messages when you try to install it. So Nix works fine, um, and it provides all the same features of it, so... I'm, I use that. So the way I installed um, Nix on the Mac was using this Determinant Systems installer. Determinant Systems is a, is a Nix-focused company, and they have this really nice installer. I mean, the normal Nix installer uh, is is nice too, but but this one has an uninstaller. So um, that's that's nice in case you decide Nix isn't isn't really for you. So uh, what I did was I followed the instructions. So I know I'm on an Ubuntu machine here. Or sorry, not an Ubuntu machine, NixOS machine. <laughs> uh, but trust me, this machine here, this Hack Center machine over here, uh, is is uh, is macOS. So I'm SSH'd into it from my from my NixOS machine. So uh, the first thing I did was I installed. Terminate Systems Installer. You can see the. You can go here to uh, to you know see see what that is. Um, I just kind of pasted it, and it runs a shell script download from the internet, which is always secure. You never have to worry about it. Just kidding, but I do trust them. So do that. Once you do sudo, it's just take the defaults. It's fine. Okay, it did its thing. So it's telling us to get started using Nix, open a new shell, or run that. So I'm just going to quickly log out, log back in to the Hack Center machine, and that will run the Nix stuff that it installs for us. Let's say now we want to install FFmpeg. I use FFmpeg on the machine to edit videos and um, edit music and stuff like that. Let's say I want to find FFmpeg, so I can go to search.nixos.org, type in FFmpeg, and this one looks pretty good. FFmpeg, there's there's competing versions of it, but I want the I want the full thing. I want the full Monty. So if I click on this thing, and what I want here is to click on this nixenv tab, and I want to use the command for non-nixos. So copy this over here and uh, I'm going to paste it in over here and this should install FFmpeg on my machine. Now it's going to fail and I'll tell you how to fix that in a second. So this is the failure. Uh, for whatever reason the, ins the installer, neither the the uh, official nixos.org installer nor the determined systems installer add a channel for this nix packages thing which you'll, which we'll see in a second but so there's two ways to fix this you can either use a slightly different command to install the package like that so instead of nix packages dot ffmpeg under five full you use a dash f flag with this nix packages in in angle brackets and then you just pass in ffmpeg that's hard to say. FFmpeg 5 full. And that'll work. And that'll go grab FFmpeg force. Okay, so we can see that it installed a number of packages from cachenixos.org. All the stuff that you would expect that FFmpeg depends upon to do its full job.
for whatever reason, I had to log out and log back in to actually run FFmpeg properly. Uh, but we can see that it's compile flags. It's got a bunch of stuff enabled, like uh, CUDA and... Ogborbis and H.264. I think it even even has the NVIDIA stuff in here. Yeah, NVDEC, 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 which is good because often you want to transcode videos and your GPU is much better at it than your CPU. So, so it's the it's the good stuff what we got from there. So anyway, that's one way to get it installed. I'm going to uninstall it now, so we can we can not have to use this workaround nixenv command. We can just use what, what's what's on the website as the command to install it. So let me do that. Okay. So it's gone now. And instead of running this substitute command if we add a channel representing the next packages channel to our system uh, like that and then we run nix channel update take a while but it will unpack the channels that the, the, the data that relates to the next package channel. And now we can use the command that's actually on the website to install these packages. We can use this command. All right, it did its job here. And now we can copy this command up here. And we can paste it in here. And it will indeed work. So, just a little bit of weirdness um, that we have to deal with after installing. After installing next, we have to install the channel. So, that's what I would suggest doing. But either way, it will work. So, in case you kind of, uh, you know, finger fudge the, the channel ad and you did something like that. You can just remove the channel by using Nix channel remove Nix packages. All right. So you can also see that the channels are defined through Nix channel list like that. So, okay. So now we have a, a package installed. And we can see all the pack, the list of packages we have installed by using query installed. And I think, yeah, so I think this, this actually can compress to QI. U dash I. Maybe not. I don't know. Query installs. Whatever. The, 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 the command line options of Nix and VAR are legendary. So, <clears throat> uh, but that's it. You know, if, if I now if I want rip grep, I can do uh, Nix packages rip grep. And it will install that for me, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, now I can, you know, rip grep, whatever. I have all this stuff. I can install Python, whatever Nix has. Uh, 80,000 packages. So, but it's a little, I mean, this this makes sense for for most people that are, you know, used to imperatively install software, which is most people. But there's an alternate way to do this, which is actually a little bit easier and a little bit less prone to error, which is to define a, a .nix file that, I, that, I'm, that I'm calling um, env.nix and I have it in here it has these contents um, and all I do when I want to install software is I uh, I run a command I, I add another I add another uh, let's say I want to install I don't know um, mini mini any term? Is that a minicom? Minicom? Let's see. Let's see what we can find. Minicom? Minicom. 
Voilà. I would just I would just put it there. So cat m dot nix, you know, whatever. And so you can just keep appending to this list as you install stuff. Now currently I have rip grip and fmp installed. So at this point, when I run the next command, it should install Emacs, Python, and Minicom for me. So let's see, what is the next command? The next command is this. Nix m dash irf m dot nix. See what happens. Okay. It's getting it. It's doing it. All right. So that worked. And now, let's see. What did I install? I installed Emacs on here. <coughs> I did. There's Emacs. How about that? Yeah, I don't know if Minicom will freak out. I'll probably freak out because I don't have any serial ports enabled. So, but in any case, I had both these programs and it was easy as that. Now, if I want to remove one, I can go here and then just delete Minicom. Rerun that. And it is it is technically not uninstalled. The Minicom software still exists in the Nix um in the Nix uh store, but it'll eventually get garbage collected out, you know, later. As as we run our our next end command, it'll 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 age itself out. So that is that is how I would suggest doing this. This that's just easier than to try to figure out those next end commands. If you just have one next end command, I've I've actually created a shell script. Oops, I've actually created a shell script called upnix dot shell that uh, I I edit that end dot nix and then I just run upnix and it. I don't have to remember the flags or anything for the uh, next end command. Right. So, um, the rest of the stuff in this file, in, in my little script here, is just about weirdnesses that dealing with next end, which if you do, if you make that ends.nix file, you don't have to deal with a, the good majority of them. So, I would suggest that. But if you do want to just use next end and, and install it with IA, like I, we, we did before, um, you have to be aware that it's a little fussy. So sometimes the package attribute names of a, of something don't match their metadata names in 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 the Nix packages repository. And I gotta admit, I am I'm, I'm still a little unclear about uh, how this all works, and I feel a little silly because I'm not even sure I'm saying the right things when it comes to this stuff. I don't. I don't know if I'm using attribute names and metadata names correctly here, and I really should know more about this, but I don't. So I'm, I'm just going to tell you what I what I think it is. So um, let's uh, search for ffmpeg. So if we note, if we notice, we have this is what I'm calling a metadata name. This ffmpeg dash under five dash full here, but then we have a name here. It's called ffmpeg full, and basically the problem is is that some some flags to nixenv want this name, this red name here, and some flags want this name, the attribute name. Sorry, the metadata name, the other thing. Again, again, please, I'm I'm sure someone in the comments will correct me uh, about what, what these things are, and I really should know, and I do not. But, but in any case, uh, like you can't, you can't just use uh, the, uh, FFmpeg full. If I try that, it's gonna fail. So I have to use the metadata name there, right? But we already have that installed. But let's say I want to uninstall it. The the install is this this Nixon via thing, but the uninstall wants the the attribute name. Attribute name. Sorry. Yeah. Attribute, attribute name. So. I, ha I can't install it using the same name I... I can't uninstall it using the same name that I installed it with. Uh, if I try that... Well, first of all, first of all, I can't I can't uninstall it with exactly the same name. This definitely won't work. And if I try to just chop off Nix packages in front of it, it still doesn't work. I have to use this... This... This attribute name here. Now we're. So 
in any case, I suggest just not using NixM to do stuff because it's it's both harder and and less and less intuitive to do it that way. So, in any case, um, that is all I got for you. Uh, thanks for watching and have a good one.